ready to go for the Tar Heels tonight. Ron Gruber, Lee Castle, Brian Dorsey, the officials, and we're underway in this quarterfinal matchup. This is a smaller Virginia Tech team. They can still attack the paint, and I think they need to. Carolina gets a touchdown of the box, and Garrison Brooks knocks it in over Aluma. He's got the ability to get out and guard on the perimeter. And Aluma can shoot the three. The lefty, Tyrese Radford, knocks down a jumper, and the Hokies are on the board. Bob Knight for the fourth most all-time. What a drive by Aluma. Just beautiful off the staggered ball screen up top instead of rolling to the basket. Carolina off the offensive glass as always. The Heels had 25 offensive rebounds against Notre Dame last night. Turned them into 27 points. And what a start for the Hokies. Mutz with a three. Fell in love with this score and in large part because of the success they had at Wofford. Now he's having success here. All right, Allison, thank you. Really an amazing story. And a guy who apparently, Jay, made great use of that transfer. Since it's not conclusive that you don't have to specialize in one thing when you're a kid to be good. Radford knocks it down. Eight-point lead for Virginia Tech. Way too easy for North Carolina's defense to allow. Anthony Harris in transition. Walton pulls up for three and buries it. He is their best three-point shooter for six minutes into this quarterfinal matchup. R.J. Davis had a really good game against Notre Dame. 14 points, three steals. Well, didn't turn it over. And totally free on the baseline was Mutz, who's off to a big start. Triple-double ability. He's been close a couple times this year. Had a huge game against Miami. He is from Millville, New Jersey. You know who else is from Millville, New Jersey? I think there are a lot of people that grew up there, <laughs> were born there. Let's take a look now at the New York life above the rim. As Couture knocks down a three right on cue. The shot won't go down for Cordell Pemsel, a grad transfer from Iowa. Wide open look on the wing. R.J. Davis for three. Try to beat this Virginia Tech defense down the floor and get something early. Jay, we are nine minutes into the game as Radford scores inside. Gone a little bit cold at the offensive end recently in Carolina. Now with a chance to tie or take the lead. Love. And he's got it. Carolina's up by one. That big guy, Armando Baycott, stopped short. He should have kept going. Could have picked up a foul there. Love feeling it. Knocks down another one. Good challenge there by the Hokies. Love slow to get up. And a lay-in at the other end for Radford. Beatty at the point. Not a big score. And has Kessler on him at the moment. The loose ball finds its way to Mutz down low, and it's a one-point game. Yeah, that's like the third or fourth layup that Virginia Tech has against this Carolina defense because they're get, they're moving the big guys around so they can't protect the rim and have had layups out of them. Jay, the freshmen have scored 23 of the 25 points for Carolina tonight, and Mutz knocks down a three, and he's got a dozen right now for the Hokies. You know, Kessler missed that second free throw, but Hunter Couture boxed him out on the first one and got right into his body. You wonder if he was thinking about that a little bit. And another easy basket to Tyrese Radford for an easy dunk. How many layups has, has Virginia Tech gotten in this first half? Robisa Beatty's now got five assists in the game, but there's Carolina beating Carolina, being Carolina. These are the three seed, nine and four in the league. Carolina the six seed. Another good feed as Aline finds David Gasson, a freshman from the Netherlands, for an easy two. Good help by Aluma. Baycott spinning into the paint, forces it up and gets the bounce. That's just a Baycott using his size and strength. First points of the night for their leading score on the season at 12 points per game. There's that pick and pop and now a drive. Nobody underneath because they're spread out. Causing a huge problem for North Carolina's big guys. They have to guard on the perimeter. They can't protect the rim that way. Mutz, who averages just under nine, has 14. But Baycott right back at him the other way with a dunk. But to your point, uh, North Carolina is a much better offensive rebounding team than they showed in that first half. And you give all the credit. Three is way short. And Sharp and Baycott, a couple of teammates, actually battling for the loose ball. Black for three. He yeah. drills a three, and the referees blew it dead because they wanted to look at it, the shot clock. Yeah. And he's like, really? <laughs>
Radford with a step back. Nicely done. He's got 16. Call him Mr. Everything, and you can see why. Because he defends, he rebounds, and he can put his head down and drive. All of a sudden, it's the Leaky Block Show. They've expended a lot of energy with how physical they've had to be in this. And it, yes, they were able to practice during, for the last week anyway, during their most recent COVID pause, but there's still nothing like game action, and this is their first game in 12 days. Being physical right back. Good pass. Brooks. Kessler, and one. Radford around Harris. Radford strong oh. to the rim. This has been a good one from the outset, and there's a lot on the line. The winner goes into the semis tomorrow against Florida State. Brooks off the glass. Two-point lead, Carolina. And he's their best overall player, second team all-conference during the season. Turnover by Davis, and Radford's out ahead of the pack. I don't know where R.J. Davis was going, but that sort of move and through the under-12 timeout, get a little bit of rest through the timeout for some of your key guys. Davis for the heels. Oh, a nice aggressive shot by R.J. Davis coming off that. Aluma looking to get going. Boy, he's got Sharp and Brooks on him, and he scores anyway. Well, he kept with it. And now Mutt switches on to him. Davis for three, yes! Well, Leaky Black passed off a couple of open shot opportunities. Carolina, oh, steal. yeah, with a four-point lead and a steal, Davis has a big guy with him, oh. never mind! What a steal by R.J. Davis. Well, what a difference in Davis and Love with their defensive improvement from the start of the year. Mutz going to work on Sharp, holy cow! Well, that's why I had mentioned, let him go to work. For a little crossover. That is a big time finish by Justin Mutz. Started his... What a player. He's got a noisy 17 tonight. Beatty swatted by Baycott. And here comes Love. Well, what is in the water in the Big South? They produce some players. Averaging nine, he's got 17 tonight, and there's an easy tip-in for Sharp. Davis again. And another offensive rebound, Baycott. Well, that was a really nice pass out of the double team. Aline, boy, did they need that. Well, just a little handoff, shoot behind. Again, being coached by the ACC Coach of the Year this year, Mike Young. Big to big, and we have really seen the bigs of Carolina. They surround Sharp. Love is open for three. Baycott on the weak side. It's been a whole different story here in the second half for Sharp and Baycott. Mutz trying to drive Sharp, and he will. They got to keep going to that. Radford and Mutz have combined for 39. Keve Aluma just four points tonight for the Hokies. They're going to count that and a foul. Positively correlated. Is that what they call it? <laughs> hey. Mutz again. Isolation on the left side of the floor against Armando Baycott. Uh, are the reason why Virginia Tech still got a fighting chance right now. Sharp. Blocked. Aluma. That Dayron Sharp makes in the lane. It shows his mobility. It's just not a good move. Hey. That is a good move. That's an excellent move. Wow. Boy, what a block by Dayron Sharp to get all that started, too. What a, that was a big time block, and there was no doubt. Good screen by Aluma. And a big three pointer there for Naheem Ali. He was not really noticeable that often in the first half. He's been huge here in the second half. Deep one. Davis. Yes! Really well done to handle that double team. And if a foul. What? Mutz. Boy, he is doing everything right now for Virginia Tech. The tour, good three-point shooter into the game for the Hokies. Aline's in a couple tonight, and he hits another one. There's that same action. They've been running it all game long. He's hanging out in the lane. He's not going to stay there. He's going to come off the screen. Black thinking about it. Now he takes it, and he hits it. Well, he has been a big factor in this game. Down at Coral Gables. 
Got 10 on the season, two of them are tonight. Now he comes up with a loose ball, finds Davis. What a play by Armando Baycott. In the building and get a little bit of energy, and I'm sure the Carolina players are really enjoying it. Remember their last two home games saw some fans in the building of the Dean go, wow, Baycott again. Wanted, and it should be a terrific game between the Seminoles and the Tar Heels. Mont nice. Snow and Aluma still working hard. He'll get a bucket and a foul. To do it. Carolina wins again. RJ Davis and Armando Baycott leading the way. Career win number 903.